In this tutorial, I will show you how to attach text or callout to any moving objects or persons. This is the first clip that we are going to use. Move to Fusion page and let's start. Open the Effects menu, make sure Tool is selected and search for Track. We have three trackers available, but for this effect we need the simple tracker. This is also called the Point Tracker. Use this effect between your two nodes. When the tracker is added, you should see two green rectangles on the screen. The small one is called the Pattern Rectangle and the big one is called the Search Rectangle. To move the tracker, simply move the top right button. Now we will need to find something that we want to track. In my case, I will track the both faces because there is enough contrast. You can resize both rectangles and the tracker will search for the pattern in the search rectangle. A smaller rectangle will be faster, but you can play with them until you have the right results. In the inspector, it is good to leave the frames per point to 1 for the best results. This will add a keyframe for each frame. Change the adaptive mode to best match and Pet Center to Track Center Append. Now I will press this button to track forward from the current frame. This is the tracking in real time for me, but will depend on the specs on your machine. It's done. We can see now keyframes added for all the frames. To make sure I have the tracker both ways, we can press this button to track from the current frame to the beginning. Render completed. Let's add the text now and connect the text to the green part of the tracker. You can add your text. For the text to be visible, we need one more change. Select the tracker and go to the Operation tab. Change Operation from None to Match Move. Your text should be visible now. The default values should be good enough for this effect to work. Moving back to text, you can change the style and the position. Here is the result. Pretty good, except for the beginning. Move the cursor at the beginning where the tracking is wrong. Select the tracker node and like this you can manually adjust and repair the tracking. All good now for the entire clip, even the camera rotation is working well. For the callout effect, we are going to use this clip. Move to Fusion and let's add the tracker node again. You know already how to do it. I will use the mirror for the pattern rectangle and I will adjust the search pattern as well. Because there is not much moving, I'll try to see if tracking each two frames will be enough. Change the adaptive mode and path center as before. Let's track to end. When it's complete, we can move the cursor and track to start. Change the operation mode as before to match move. Let's search for the callout effect. In case you cannot find it, make sure the templates menu is selected. Let's add the effect to our composition and we need to connect the node to the green part of the tracker. Because there is an animation on this effect, the text is not visible on the first frames. Move to the right and you should see the text and the bar. 
You can choose different versions, change the position, text, style and color as you wish. Should be straightforward, I'm not going into details here. Here is the final result. I wish you a wonderful day and see you next time.